But if somebody tells you, how did you get in such good shape? Light and air and sunshine. What you do, you turn around and you walk away. You don't even engage. If someone came up to you and said, I think I'm a wombat that has evolved into a human. Simon Miller, the bald a-hole here. And this is the worst article about fitness or eating healthy or diets that I've ever read. Amazingly too, this video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked makes it really easy to get professional health testing without you having to go and visit a healthcare provider. You simply choose your test online and it will be delivered to you in discreet packaging. You do your sample, you send it back to the laboratory and you will get confidential results available from your secure online account within two to five days. These results also get looked over by a physician and a nurse may even call you after after the fact to discuss other medication you can take and really this is just about getting your blood work done to see where you're at to see what's going on and if the purposes of this channel to see what your testosterone levels are because that's what you want to know i have done it before many other people have done before it doesn't tie into anything else that you may or may not be taking it's just a good way to know that you're functioning properly that you're healthy and to see where you're at right now i bet you're like me and you've watched a ton of youtube videos you're like, oh my gosh what's this guy's blood work well now you can find out for yourself let's get checked laboratories are cl IA approved and CAP accredited, which is the highest ranking levels of accreditation, and lets you avoid uncomfortable office visits by providing you with access to home testing and professional medical consultations without ever having to leave your home. Even better still, if you use the link in my description below and the code SIMON, you will get 30% off your order no matter what the test. So go and check out Let's Get Checked, and within a few days, you can know what's happening inside of you. And I think that sounds pretty damn good. Now, it does come from the New York Post. Now, as far as I'm aware, it's not a satirical site. It's not like The Onion. It is just a regular news source that you can check out. And it's from a few years ago, January 19th, 2017, written by Joshua Rett Miller, repping the Miller name. And I shall just read the headline to you, and all of a sudden, you will see what's about to happen. Breatharian no food diet claims are a bunch of hot air experts say. And my first point to you will be, did we really have to go and ask an expert? But the claims of a breatharian couple who say they've survived for nearly a decade on little more than air and sunlight are tough to swallow, according to Exberg's interview by The Post. So let's just go through that opening paragraph one more time. The claims of a breatharian couple who say they have survived on air and sunlight. <laughs> who are these people? Aliens from another planet? If so, they're not human beings. Listen, you cannot survive on air and sunlight unless you're like a plant. And are you a plant? I don't think you are. You wouldn't know how to use YouTube. Aki Ricardo and Camila Castillo said they've eaten little more than a piece of fruit or vegetable broth just three times a week since 2008 in an interview with The Sun published last week. Straight away, that's bullcrap. You just told me you just eat air and dine out on sunlight, but now you're telling me you're sneaking in their little, little fruit and vegetable broth. That doesn't count. Castillo even claimed to have gone without food during her first entire pregnancy, saying she fully lived on light and consumed no food. If you are out there and consider yourself an intelligent, smart person, I would like you to get in touch with me and tell me what she survived on light means. Sorry, fully lived on light means. Are you a solar panel? Is that what you are? Are you a solar panel? Are you living on somebody's roof? The story of the couple's extreme and implausible diet went viral with numerous outlets picking up the story, including the New York Post. But Tanya Zuckerbrot, which is officially the greatest name ever, a registered dietitian and author of The F Factor, on Monday threw doubt on the couple's claims saying they belly everything we know about autonomy and the role the food plays, particularly during pregnancy. I understand if something goes viral and you are a dietitian or whatever, you think, oh, I can jump on this and try and get my five minutes of fame, which is important, especially in 2021 when you can drive traffic to your website or drive traffic to your business. But if somebody tells you, how did you get in such good shape? Light and air and sunshine. What you do, you turn around and you walk away. You don't even engage. If someone came up to you and said, I think I'm a wombat that has evolved into a human and tomorrow I'm going to turn into a dog, you won't go, well, that sounds implausible. You leave. It is possible to survive up to 21 days without food due to glycogen and fat reserves in our bodies. That is true, or more or less. It's going to depend on the individual as always. But the maximum time anybody could live without water is seven days. That drops to even less in extremely hot environments. It's a faulty premise that they could survive off the sun. Zuckerbot told the post in response to the claims, if you don't provide your body with caloric intake, your body will begin to break down. I can't believe this is a real article that you can read. I cannot believe this is an interaction that had happened. What is going on? How are you today? Flubble sticks. That makes as much sense 
That's what's going on here. Any diet without protein would ultimately lead to conditions like osteoporosis and ultimately death. You wouldn't have muscle mass and you would waste away. It doesn't make sense. It defies all common knowledge of what our bodies need to survive. People would starve to death. You can't live. No. However, there's always meaning behind my madness. It actually does get quite interesting when you get to halfway through the article when it said, ask how such a preposterous claim could be believed. Zuckerbrot said people are always looking for the latest and craziest diet fad, even if it's not based on science. We're always looking for something that seems holistic or some new great diet, she said. And there's something very elitist about this. Like I can go without food for so long while you need to eat, you slovenly pig. We shouldn't overeat. But this really is going from one extreme to the other. Both of them are unhealthy and I cannot support either one. I'm sorry. I'm absolutely supporting you eating like a pig than compared to living off sunlight because that makes you an absolute goof and it makes you an absolute crazy person. But it's absolutely true. You laugh now and you'll be like, there's nobody out there in the world that would believe this, but there is. That's why I do videos like this. Some people will read this. They won't read this article. They'll find the original article. They'll find the viral post or whatever. And they'll look at these people and think, oh, they look like they're in good shape and they sound so happy and they sound like they're having their time of their life. Maybe I should try and starve myself. And yes, more often than not, you go a few days and realize, well, I can't do this or worse comes to worse, you go to the hospital. But ultimately, badly, you can kill yourself. And some people are so mentally screwed up when it comes to their bodies and fitness, as I can completely understand, and I'm sure we've all been through our own levels of that, that they will bite into anything that sounds like they're finally going to get the physique of their dreams. Even if it is sat there under the sun going, oh, I'm well fed now. It only ever takes five minutes of digging to find more information about this as well. Apparently there's a breatharian school that they were running and they were trying to charge money for it. So of course they would want to get their story out there. But as always, later on, they did clarify they do eat sometimes or almost maybe that they eat when they need to eat so they don't collapse and die. Because in an exclusive statement to the Post, Carmela and Aki said they don't adhere to typical eating habits, but admit reports last week claiming they've sustained themselves a little more than a fruit vegetable broth, instead living off the university's energy was overblown. We do eat, just not with the same frequency or intensity as the average person, the couple said in a statement. So it's just absolutely ridiculous. It is so, so dumb. I can't believe this stuff exists. If you really, really need to break down food to its most basic point, just remember, we eat because we have to survive and we eat for fuel. That's what a calorie is. It's a unit of fuel. And you figure out how many units you need in a day, or you figure out how many units you need to put on muscle, or you figure out how many units you need to burn off fat, or whatever the hell it may be, and it's going to be individual to you. But nobody is telling you to eat nothing. No Nobody is telling you to eat some weird vegetable fruit broth and nobody is telling you that you are foliage. <laughs> you're a plant or you're a piece of grass or whatever the hell it may be. This kind of stuff blows my brain. This is why people don't have a clue when it comes to macros. I was talking to somebody the other day that just got into fitness. They are my age. They're in their 30s and they had no idea what a macronutrient was. Absolutely nothing. And we all go, well, how can you not know what macros are? Because nobody's taught them and nobody's educated them. And when they go to Google and probably start to research this stuff, they learn about the breatharian diet where they're told just to breathe and live. It is absolutely absolutely redonkulous. It is absolutely stupid. And as you can probably tell, it really, really pisses me off. Also, eating disorders are a really, really, really real thing. And if you have one to the point you're not eating anything to begin with, and then once more you find an article like that, it's just going to justify all the bad habits you already have. And those bad habits should be being sorted out by a friend, a family member, a medical professional, because it is a disease. Mental health is a disease, just like breaking your leg or breaking your arm, right? You, if you read an article that said, oh, you've broken your arm, all you need to do is hurl it into a table, it will get better. Most people go, well, that sounds stupid because the mental health spectre, whatever you want to call it, it's not the right word at all, because the mental health sphere isn't focused in the same... Oh, it's just, I'm, just, I'm ending the video. I'm just ending the video because you know what I'm saying. Point is, don't believe everything you read, especially when it sounds like crap. You want to know why it sounds like crap? Dun, ba, da, da, because it's crap. Now, please do leave a comment below and let me know what you think about all of this or just tell me I'm an a-hole. I don't mind. Do whatever you want. Algorithm is the most important. Click the bell, ding, ding, so you don't have other videos going live. There is another video on the screen. Please give it a click. Like the video, share the video, and please do subscribe as well. That would be great. Patreon.com for Simon316 if you want to support me that way. Instagram and Twitter is Simon316. In Break New Sets brand new cookbook. Check out the description for all the information and a code to get some money off. I'm on Cameo if you would like a birthday, anniversary, or Hanukkah Christmas message, whatever the hell you would appreciate. Simon.pincartel.com for merchandise. I usually repeat one of them because I'm stupid. I will see you soon.